Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, it's great. Entertaining already. <laughs> so, what, three cancellations, two years of no Blues Fest. How did it feel to be back out on that stage today? Oh, oh it was amazing. We haven't played yeah. for a couple of years like most people, and that was our first real entry. But, yeah, it's just good to be out playing and seeing old faces you haven't seen for a long time and the whole whole vibe of the whole joint yeah in general i was i was really nervous like i got the um what do you call them the flipperty doos you know in my belly and i was like oh my god and it's kind of like that getting back on the horse for the first time after not being there for you know for a while your whole kind of your all your senses are all tingling you know but it was it was beautiful it was really beautiful to be there and here yeah how many times have you guys played this festival now? You've, you've played it. Oh, I haven't been here for about seven years. This is yeah. the first one about seven years. And I've done around 18 or 19 before that. Yeah. And then we had a bit of a break, obviously. Yeah. And yeah, it's just a privilege to be asked to come back and have mm. a little break. I've done, I've done five with you. Yeah. Yeah, and then we had like a seven year break and now this is number six. Yeah. 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 Why is Blues Fest so important? Oh, look, it's, you know, for a lot of people in the same situation, it's like my kids come here since they were pups every year and yeah. watched it grow from the piggery to Belongal to Red Devils and back and forth to out here. It's just gotten bigger and bigger. And the, and the bottom line is, apart from everyone getting together and whatnot, it's the quality of the sound guys yeah. and the, the bands he's that have come over here, you know, I've been so blessed to have seen all the big guns and all I've got to do is go from stage to stage out the back here. Yeah. Don't have to go drive to Brisbane or Sydney or anything to see them. They're all here in one fat weekend and you get to see every night. Yeah. You know, ZZ Top, Allman Brothers, you name it, the list just goes on and on. And, and it's just been a blessing yeah. to see them all without, you know, here. Yeah. And, and it's and it's like, I don't know, is it the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere? It's the biggest festival I've heard. Certainly one of the big so ones. So I've heard. And it's like, when we were over, we were over in New Orleans and we were doing this uh, showcase in, in, uh, called Focal Lounge. And literally we were in, I was in a, I was in a bedroom in the, um, in the hotel. All the bands were just shoved into these bedrooms and just played their music and showcased their stuff. And literally from there, it's like I saw War and Treaty in a bedroom, like in a room like this. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna see you at Blue. I bet you I'm gonna see you at Blue's Fest. And like literally, like they were there. At any like bands you see, you just think, whoa, and, and that's it. That, then you'll see them here. You see them just plucked. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Anyone you really wanna see this weekend? Oh, mate, I'm looking for, I'm, I'm an old school Who? 80s Aussie, so I'm looking forward to the Hoodoo Gurus, yeah, the Oils. All that, all that 80s stuff that was all over the radio back in the day, and I'm, yeah, yeah pretty chuffed to see that. And where I did it. see Warren Treaty, and literally was in floods of tears, happy tears, but floods of tears. Yeah, but, but but with Blues Fest, it's also, you know, you just wander from tent to tent, not knowing who's who, and you just go, put the ears yeah. up. It's like yeah. you're drawn to that because everyone's into different styles of music, and just what draws you in is. Nine times out of ten, you're going to walk around the do the circuit, and you're going to hear something that's going to draw draw you in, you know. Yeah, yeah. The other day, we arrived here the other day, and I was uh, down at the back of the Delta stage, and I was just wind the window down, and the next thing I heard this like Indigenous choir gospel with Emma Donovan, and I was like, oh my god, it was absolutely incredible. And uh, that was just first off the like first off the rank on Thursday, you know, like when you just arrive, you're like, wow, that's setting the benchmark really high, and then just going from wherever there, you know. But yeah, there's a lot, there's just, yeah, so many amazing, very different acts as well. So that, I think that makes it really colorful, you know. Yeah. Lots of stuff going on this year. Lack of festivals the last couple of years, but lots of other things happening this year. Lots of flooding around your place as well. How did you guys go? Um, we, we're all right, we just got the leaky roof and lost the driveway and stuff, which was a minor compared to yeah. my, my most of the people up we're not far from Gimpy where yeah. you know, a lot of people lost everything. Yeah. And that's just natural disasters we've all seen in our lifetime and just fires yeah. a few years before that and that's right. Part of living in Australia, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty extreme. It's been quite an extreme experience. It has been know? a yeah. yeah. 
but everyone just keeps soldiering, soldiering on, and, and yeah. I think music in general, as well as this festival, is just, you know, you go out to just not care about it for that weekend or yes, that night or whatever, that. and that's the, yep. that's the, I'd flush yeah. it out and deal with it tomorrow. Yeah, it brings you back to the moment, you know, when you're like, you're, you're every day, daily, daily, and then you, when you're at a festival like this, it's just when you just go switch off and you're just in this moment of taking in the music and just seeping in like a big sponge, you know? It's just, yeah. that's when you're like, ah, this is the moment, this is why I'm alive, this is why I'm breathing, this is great, thank you, you know? That's like a really big thanks to all the people that have organized and brought it together. It's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Fitzy, were you um, separated from your guitars or something during the flood for a little bit? Um, yeah, you were. Yeah, I was, you were. but they were, they were safe. Yeah, because any, any person who's into guitars and drums or whatever you're into, you might, they become very special to you. Yeah, even but, more than partners yeah. and wives. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't in a situation where yeah, I was losing them. Which, That's all right. Yeah. Reunited. Yeah. 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 So what happened? <laughs> Sorry? What happened? How did uh, how did you end up not yeah, being well with your you, guitars? Yeah, because you you maybe you brought your car, your guitar up to Aunt Mark, and then you couldn't get up to it. Yeah, and we had a gig in Merlewellamba, Merle but it got cancelled right, yeah. the fifth time. We had it. It was cancelled. Like God love Nick Hanlon, she was amazing. Yeah, we tried. We we're going to paddle across the river like idiots yeah, and get me guitar and paddle back, but I didn't yeah. didn't do it. I'm glad you didn't because mm. it's a strong water, you know. Yeah, guitar might have fallen in. Yeah, yeah that, that would have been very dangerous. <laughs> Back in the drinking days, very I would have dramatic. done it without thinking. Uh, you had a swam over or something like that uh, in your pants. Yeah. So a big weekend this weekend, and then what's next for you guys? Uh, we've got we've got a couple we've got a couple of things. This is the biggest thing for us at the moment. Um, we've got um, our Will and Bar coming up soon, and uh, we've got maybe we've got there's Port Macquarie and Coffs as well there's a couple of things in there just uh, all the dates are on the events page you, don't, you can't get too excited but you don't know no. whether you're going to get the phone you, call of, it's it. off for whatever yeah. reason you know but, but you know yeah. it, it, it's been a a good in a good way with the covid and all that stuff it's been a good way to pull back and get your headspace of what you're doing and so i've gone back to my mm. day job and carl has yeah. been doing her day job and yeah. something to say about doing a hard day's work and coming home to home cooked meal you know what i mean that's not just my job. I've been. No, well, I never I said you were a cook. I yeah. said you do your job. Yeah. But so we, we both been, cook. So he's literally been tiling, and I've been doing a bit of teaching as well. So I've been. I didn't say you stayed at home and cooked and cleaned. He said it was nice to come home to cook to meal. To home cooked meal. I know, but I cook too. No, he doesn't cook. Like Are you get shooting that me? street. You don't. Eggs. Oh. Bacon and eggs, amazing bacon and eggs in the mm. morning, breakfast, cup of tea. Yeah, we forget. Beautiful. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I do the dinner, I do the leg work. <laughs> so obviously, for those who don't know, you are a couple as well as in a band together. I oh, may have picked on. up on that. Tell us the story of how you met. Oh God, no. <laughs> well, well, there's a short story and a long story. Yeah, short story. Look, I, okay. I was going over to Ireland for a number of years, every year, playing over there, just doing a little three week festival thing. And then I just, I look, I had a bit of a thing for the Irish women, you know, and then, and then I was we playing at a festival and I just saw Carl here playing at the same festival. And I was just, just, what is it? Awestruck or whatever the word is and went, oh. yeah. So anyway, I had a crack at her that, <laughs> Wait, that he night. He asked me out. He asked me for a dance. For a dance, yeah. And then, and then that, they pulled it off. Not that night, because not that I was night. Involved. I was otherwise involved. You see. Yeah, I had um, to get rid of. But I, I think her name was Karen or no, it Nicole was Mar or something. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> Martina. Oh lord. No. Um, yeah. So basically, I, I declined, but um, but I was pretty smitten with them. So I was, and I was so smitten that I came over. The, later on that year, and uh, I came over to test the waters, and the waters were very nice, I have to say. Put on a good show. I he was all right too. Yeah. <laughs> he was all right. <laughs> it wasn't bad. Well, we're very glad that you're together, and musically Aww. as well, and at Blues Fest, it's great to be back here, and to have oh, you guys back here as well. Absolutely. It's a real pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure. Awesome. I think, do you guys have everything you need?